Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and on this episode we're going to continue on the Odyssey Project Part 3. I picked up the radiator support finally. I found a guy that has it. I got it cut. So let's take a look at what we have and how much work we need to do to get that done. So here's the damaged radiator support right here. I'm going to pull this out as much as I can and I picked up this radiator support that was cut off from a different Odyssey and it was damaged kind of on the corner here. I don't need this corner, I just basically need the top section from uh, left to right and then the bottom square that goes all the way around. So I'm not going to need any of the sides. And I got this for 350 which is, wasn't too bad but it's still a little bit pricey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this side right here to the F350 over here, I'm gonna winch it from this side and we're gonna get it pulled out. All right, so I'm gonna set up my winch, hook it up right here and see how much we can pull out on this one. Alright guys, and here's what we got. We got the fenders off, the wheels off, the wheel wells off as well. And I pretty much disconnected all the wires and brackets and everything uh, that was connected to the center reinforcement here. And then the stuff on the bottom everywhere. So now this reinforcement can be cut out. And what I was thinking of doing is I still need to figure out exactly uh, how much of this I'm going to use. For sure I'm going to use the whole top section. And then the sides right here, this one and that one. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to do the whole uh, bottom section. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still thinking about that. So I'm still seeing if that's going to be... I doubt that the bottom one is bent. But I'm thinking, should I? Maybe. So for sure, I know I need to replace this one because there's a nice kink right here. Uh, this side may be a little bit bent, but obviously I might as well do it. So basically what I'm trying to figure out if I need to do the whole bottom piece as well. I'm thinking maybe might as well, but we'll play with the idea uh, once I start cutting. So basically what I want to do next is actually use my sawzall and just basically cut off uh, kind of next to the spot walls where I'm going to be drilling out because it'll be easier to get to spot walls behind here, underneath here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop here, chop here, chop it here and here. That way I can remove the whole upper section and it's not going to be in the way of me drilling out the spot walls that are, that are kind of annoying to get to. And then, um, then I'll deal with the bottom section. So basically if I decide to do the whole bottom section as well, I'm going to chop it here, chop it there, and then it'll be easier for me to get to spot walls kind of behind there. Uh, there's only a few things that I need to remove. There's a the ground actually right here that I have to disconnect. But other than that, everything else is 
uh, ready to go. I had to remove the whole intake box here, uh, the battery here, and then I had to disconnect and remove the computer here and the fuse box. Uh, I think that's gonna be fine. I don't have to move it any further. Basically, I need to get to the bottom. There's, I think, a, one or two spot. Well, it's kind of on the bottom here, which I'll be able to get to from somehow. I think I can get it from here, but this stuff will probably, it might be okay, might not be okay, but we'll see. We'll deal with that um, when, we get, when we get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and saw all that we can right now, and then we'll deal with the spot welds. All right guys, and uh, the front reinforcement is pretty much all cut out and drilled out. This is the top section right here. And I ended up just basically chopping what I could and then it was easier to get to some of the spot welds. So I got this one uh, uh, drilled out, the spot welds, uh, this one, this section removed, and then the top section here as well. And then this one, I'll, I'll get it done um, before the next video because I gotta run to work, you know, duty calls. All right, so for part four, I'll have everything drilled out that I don't need, and then I'll be ready to install on part four. I'm not gonna bore you guys uh, with drilling out all these stuff, all these uh, parts right here, but I'll have everything prepped, ready to go, and then on part four, we're gonna weld this section in, and hopefully it's all straight. I uh, still gotta do some measuring to make sure it's all straight, so we're gonna get that done on part four. So for now, uh, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And we'll get this done probably by part five. I'm hoping part five will be the final episode of this project and, she, and then she'll be done. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.